Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today as we discuss Capture One. Today we're talking about image management, actual image and data management within Capture One, which is part of a larger conversation that is all about catalog management. Now, catalog management also includes things like finding broken pathways for images that have been moved, and that's a conversation for another video. Today, I wanna to take a look at the actual image management. Capture One links to uh, hard drives connected to your machine, which is wonderful. And if you are moving images from one place to another, Capture One will not be able to necessarily follow that, but it needs to be able to link to these images in order to work with them. So there has to be a data management tool built into Capture One that allows you to do this. And in fact, there is, just a lot of people don't know about it. So if you are connecting Capture One to images that are disparate throughout your machine or migrating images from one place to another, then this is the tool that allows you to do so without breaking any of the images inside of your catalog. Let me show you what I'm on about. Here we are inside of Capture One and we are inside of the library tool tab and the library tool. Inside of the library tool are some things you're using all the time. The catalog collections, all images, recent imports, etc. And this is, these are the collections that Capture One is actually making for you. User collections are the collections of images that you make yourself either manually or through smart collections. But the third option is folders. And this is the location of actual data inside of Capture One. Where are these images located? So you're going to have a place that says in catalog. When you make a catalog, you have the option of having images that are brought into that catalog. And this is the default option that most people use, importing images from memory cards or when they start uh, bringing in images that are spread throughout the machine. They're oftentimes copied into the catalog and then Capture One simply links to its own images within its own catalog. But it doesn't have to be that way. When you import images, you have the option of adding to catalog as opposed to copying into catalog. And when you add to catalog, all that Capture One does is index those images located somewhere else that it has access to. When it does so, it then shows those locations here. So the hard drive of the machine that I'm on, and then external drives there and there. Now, there's nothing in these locations. So I'm actually going to take one and I'm gonna get rid of it. If you do this and there are images that are linked to inside of that place, you will lose them in the catalog. But fortunately, that's not the case for me. So you might have a situation like this, where you know that you have a whole hard drive that is connected to your machine, but Capture One can't see it because Capture One has never been linked to it before. It hasn't added images from it. It has not had to copy images from it. It doesn't know that it exists. But I could always connect it to Capture One. All I have to do is hit plus next to folders, and it's gonna ask me to browse, and I have to find a folder somewhere to link to. And I can come to that hard drive, find a folder, and add it. At that point, that hard drive is now linked back to Capture One. At this point, we're able to do folder management. So here I have the hard drive of my machine, and if I follow the paths, I do have here one image that's on the hard drive of my machine. Now this could be one image, or it could be a thousand. The process is the same. But at this point, what if I wanted to move all of my images out of my machine's hard drive and onto an external drive? I could do so. All I have to do is just find the path of this image, grab the image, and I could drag it right here to where I want it to go. So now it says that that image has been removed from my hard drive, but if I come over to my external drive, find the folder, there's the image right there. So this is how we can do image management inside of Capture One. And if I move the image using Capture One, then I have no risk of Capture One not being able to find that image and be able to work with it in the future. If I were to move that image 
outside of Capture One, just using the normal utility folders here in my operating system, Capture One would lose the link to it. We'd have to fix it. And that's the conversation for a different video, but a very important one. We'll probably do that here soon. All right, so that is the actual movement of images. I could take this, I could drag it into the catalog itself if I wanted to, but I don't have to. Capture One is perfectly happy having images located throughout multiple hard drives or consolidating them into the catalog is of course a completely viable option. All right, so that is image management and the folders tool inside of Capture One. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time.